So I'm trying to make it a theme of introducing a new house every Sunday on the channel. It doesn't always work out that way though. Last week it didn't uh, happen. But this week I do have a brand new house, El Oria. It's a Korean house. First time I'm talking about a Korean house. I've never sampled any fragrances from, uh, from Korea, but we do have a brand here, El Oria. It's a brand new house. Uh, they're just launching, uh, well, the fragrances have launched late last year, early this year, and I've got four of them here from the Elements collection. And there's definitely one that I really, really like. And uh, I'm gonna do this video in order of preference. So least favorite at the bottom, most favorite at the top. You're gonna find out about four fragrances coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yes, today I'm talking about Eloria, the Elements Collection of Fragrances, which are all Eau de Parfum Concentration unisex fragrances. They come in 50 ml bottles like this for $125, or there are 100 ml bottles for $195. And I dug in to find out that the perfumer for these fragrances is Ji Wun Su. I'm not familiar with this perfumer, but as I did say earlier, I am preferring a, one fragrance a lot. I really do like it. It does kind of remind me of something that I've smelled before, but I can't get enough of the way it smells uh, in comparison to the others. And the other ones are really nice and solid as well, but definitely you always find a favorite in a collection most likely. So I'll let you know about Eloria's four fragrances. Before I get to the fragrances though, if this is your first time tuning into my channel and you haven't subscribed, please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And you know what? I forgot to mention we have a giveaway. We have a full bottle giveaway, a 50 ml bottle like the one I have, like the ones I have here to a subscriber, subscribers of this channel from the USA or Canada. So you are uh, able to participate. Uh, please make sure you're publicly subscribed, not surprised, subscribed, and uh, you'll uh, find out how to participate uh, at the end of the video. But let me tell you a little bit about the brand. Eloria is founded by a Korean American couple who want to challenge the Eurocentric fragrance industry. Launched in January 2022, it was inspired by the long history but little known fragrance traditions of Korea. First collection of four scents, which I'm talking about today, are called the elements that are influenced by the trigram of the Korean flag. Heaven, earth, water, fire, and those are the names of the fragrances. Each scent has a special ingredient sourced from a region in Korea. The elements collection, heaven, which is a floral fragrance, earth, which is a green fragrance, water, which is a citrus fragrance, and fire, which is a spicy warm fragrance. There's definitely a discovery set which retails for $30, but customers receive a $30 voucher towards a full-size bottle if they bought the discovery set. Sound good, right? Good stuff, let me tell you. So I'm gonna start off at the bottom. Now, it's not that I hate these fragrances. They're all pleasant fragrances. I always have preferences. Uh, number one is definitely number one, and I'm gonna get to it after three fragrances. But the first one I'm talking about is Heaven. Heaven is the first fragrance I'm talking about and it's at the bottom of the list. Heaven is a floral fragrance, and as I was saying, it does utilize one ingredient from Korea, and this particular fragrance features Bosung green tea as a note. But this particular fragrance has notes of Bosung green tea, freesia, musk, amber, rose, bergamot, orange, pink pepper, and passion fruit. So in the end, Heaven is a musky experience, but very, very floral, and then definitely has citrusy touches. You experience it. It's also very, very soft, a little laundry-like smell. Very, very clean. Eventually, it does have powdery touches. And, you know, it settles to a little bit of an ambery base, but there's spices there and a little bit of rosiness. Definitely, you experience some fruitiness as well, but it's all so beautifully blended together. And there's something angelic about this particular fragrance as well. It might be lean, slightly feminine, but I don't think it is. It's just a very, very pretty experience. It's a little calm as well, but beautiful floral fragrance. I I, I'm gonna say that it's got it's got definitely kind of cozy, comforting, uh, you know, experience as well. And I always say that tea fragrances for me definitely has this like comforting experience, a soothing, calming kind of an experience. And the fragrance does wear like that as well. So I think it's a pretty fragrance. It's beautiful. It could be like a signature fragrance, an everyday kind of a fragrance that you can wear day in and day out. It has those kind of fragrance qualities to it, and definitely quality fragrance experience here. It's definitely a quality creation for sure. Uh, heaven, it is at the bottom of the list, but you know, 
I have a preference and if I'm going to rank the, the list, uh, I have to put uh, each fragrance somewhere. So Heaven ended up at the bottom. But when you sample these fragrances, if you end up getting the Discovery set, you might put uh, you know Heaven at the, the top of the list. But as I said, Heaven is a floral fragrance and the key Korean ingredient in Heaven is Bosung Green Tea. So check it out if you like tea fragrances. Definitely you have to enjoy uh, the musky, powdery and uh, floral experiences in the fragrance as well. So Heaven is the fourth fragrance or the first fragrance at number four. All right, moving on to number three, it is water. So number, number four and number three definitely has a very soft quality about them. Maybe that's why I've put them in the bottom of the list. I like my fragrances to be a little more robust, to be a little more intense. So that's why it feels like that's why I'm putting them here, but also the smells. I really like the way number one smells, and you'll find out what it is. But water is definitely a fresh experience, and also watery, like there's definitely the experience of water droplets when you're wearing this particular fragrance. It does have floral qualities, also very much citrusy as well. So uh, it's my kind of a fragrance, but I think this particular fragrance, and then also the last one I just spoke about, definitely warm weather fragrances, especially water, because it definitely has that kind of watery touches. So water features notes of white musk, Pochion jasmine, lemon, neroli, bergamot, mandarin orange, ylang ylang, rose, and cedar. Yeah, the fragrance eventually settles to kind of a musky, woody experience, but it's all flowers. It's a very, very fresh floral experience, and I don't know how they did it, but definitely has that kind of watery experience here. I almost feel like there might be something like water lily in here or lotus flower to give you that kind of watery experience, and you definitely experience this freshness, this watery quality here. Maybe it's the Pochion jasmine which I don't know exactly what that note is. I know jasmine a lot. I, I love the smell of jasmine flowers but this particular fragrance doesn't have that standout jasmine note uh, and I feel like all the flowers are blended together to create a unique floral experience but there's something in here that's creating this kind of watery experience which is kind of refreshing literally is refreshing kind of watery. So that's why I feel like this is perfect for warm weather. It's fresh it's floral, it's um, invigorating, and it's uplifting as well. So water at number three. So once I tell you the next fragrance, you're gonna find out what my number one favorite is. Uh, the number two is Earth. So Earth is a woody experience, very, very woody experience, but I also get lots of violet here. So it's kind of like a powdery, woody, violet kind of an experience. And it features the Korean note of Gohoeng Cypress. I think that's how you say it. Forgive me for butchering that word, but that's the best I could do with this particular note. And definitely has loads of violet, loads of violet, but you know, you definitely experience that Gohoeng Cypress as well. But it features violets, lots of it, iris, lots of it, sandalwood, cardamom, the Gohang cypress, vanilla, and leather. It eventually settles to kind of a, you know, lightly sweet vanillic experience, but it's all woods and powdery floral notes. There's a little bit of a makeup-y experience in there, but it doesn't linger too much. But it also kind of reminds me of something like Santal 33, but I'm not saying it's a full-on Santal 33 experience, because this one has loads and loads and loads of violet, like a lot of it. It's so much there. It also doesn't have that signature papyrus note that Santal 33 has, but there's that, definitely that kind of like reminder or familiarity with this particular fragrance there. But I like that light makeup y touch but with this kind of like woods and powdery fragrance wearing experience. There's definitely some spiciness there. It's warm. It does settle to kind of a warmth in the base and also lots of earthiness as well. This is for a person that really likes woods with makeup y powdery kind of a floral experience. So check out Earth at number. Two, and finally at number one, it's fire. And you know, I have to be honest, fire doesn't make sense to me with this particular fragrance. It is a kind of a leathery experience in the dry down, but for me, this is like crisp fruits, like apples. Drippy, juicy, crunchy. Like just imagine you bit into an apple and you're, you've got the juice dripping down. That's kind of what I experienced with this. There's this very, very much so freshness up top that I really like about this one. And, and even though it's a leather fragrance, and I think the leather is in the base, like definitely comes in the base and it's not going to overpower. I think this is going to be perfect when it's hot outside because I love the way it smells, that freshness. And then they mentioned violet here for the note. I'm personally thinking that it's violet leaves. Violet leaves do 
have that kind of ozonic experience, it could take on the characteristic of apples or cucumbers. So it's definitely here. And I love that about this particular fragrance. So Fire features the Korean note of Jeju Lime. I think that's how you say it. And it features notes of Violet, lime, leather, camellia, nutmeg, iris, lemon, amber, and rose. It's so good. It's really, really, really great. And I think i am definitely experienced the violet leaves in this particular one. And you know, you can kind of pick it out. I'm not experiencing the violet experience that I experienced in Earth, because that one definitely has that kind of makeup-y powdery experience, whereas when I smell violet leaves, it's definitely got that kind of ozonic thing happening, and it's definitely very, very prominent here, and I like that about this one. And as I said, I do get that kind of like fruitiness. There's something fruity in here, like apples, like green apples, juicy ones, ripened apples, and as I was saying, crunch into it, and that juice drips down your, uh, you know, your hand or your arm uh, in that kind of fragrance from that apple kind of is uh, captured in here. So I, I don't know how much it's a fire, uh, but uh, whatever the, the way the fragrance smells, I absolutely love the, this particular fragrance uh, and uh, enjoy really, really wearing it. One more thing about this one, there is another familiarity with this one. I am reminded of something that I can't figure out what it is, uh, which makes me want to wear it more because I want to experience it and smell it and uh, see if I can figure out what I've smelled. It could be another fragrance. It could be something I've smelled in my past. Uh, it's giving me some scent memories that... Um, I'm having a difficult time trying to figure out what it is, but really in love with fire a lot. And I think for me, it's the best in the collection. Uh, it, after all, it's about wearability, right? Like you'll have to first like the, the way a fragrance smells and are you going to get that fragrance and wear it and enjoy it? And I, this is definitely one I would enjoy because I kept coming to it and spraying it more and really, really loving the way it smells. I'm just waiting for some warmth, although I kind of prefer cool here in San Francisco, but warmth I think is going to do some uh, great things with this particular fragrance because I like the idea of this ozonic, watery, violet leaves uh, kind of an experience with fire. So fire is number one from Eloria. Now, have you guys heard of this house? Are you familiar with their fragrances? Or is this the first time you're hearing about them? These fragrances were sent to me for this specific review. Uh, the opinions are all my own and I am telling you honestly what I think about them. And if you get to sample them from the discovery set, you might have this whole thing reversed. You might find heaven at number one and fire at uh, number two four. So I don't know uh, that this is what I'm feeling and I like uh, that about this particular collection. Fire is definitely my favorite. And even though that fragrance doesn't really remind me of fire, there's definitely got to be a meaning behind the, that, that particular fragrance to call it fire. So let's get on with the giveaway. Um, the giveaway is for one bottle of choice, one of the fragrances I discussed for you today or with you today, in a 50 ml bottle to subscribers of this channel from the USA or Canada. The, uh, the the brand's PR firm uh, only will ship to USA or Canada. I'm sorry, I don't make these rules. A lot of you get up upset at me and uh, tell me that I, I'm uh, kind of like rude to not open up these giveaways to everyone in the world, but I don't make the decisions. This is not my choice. This is a USA and Canada giveaway. Um, all you have to do is uh, write down in a comment and let me know which fragrance sounds the best to you. Gotta let me know which one sounds the best to you and why. And uh, also let me know why do you want to be a winner and then put down your country if you're in Canada. So put down Canada if you're in Canada or put down your state and country if you are in the USA. Good luck with the giveaway. Other than that, guys, thanks so much for tuning in today to do, watch this Eloria fragrance review of their four The Elements Collection fragrances. Uh, let me know your thoughts on these fragrances and if you have sampled them, please put a comment down and let me know what you think about them. If you have a favorite, please let me know uh, what your favorite is. And after watching this video, which one sounds the best to you? Anyway, I appreciate you tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.